Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pranam and you are watching RTD. So today we are going to learn how we can make this shirt using Zmodeler in ZBrush. So at first I am taking a cube and just press B to edit and make a polymer straight. After that you can make this cube with low poly cube by going initialize and cube cube. Here's our low poly cube and we need to make it a small size here. Scale it. Then we need to uh, create this shape. After that, we will go for the uh, this part. So I will make it a little bit long, just like that. And I am going to turn on my symmetry. So, okay. And we are going to need to take our C modeler brush. You can press B and Z. Here it is, C modeler brush. So here it is, and we need this part to extend or extrude. So I am taking an edge loop by taking the Z modeler brush. We have default the insert edge, so just click here, and get an edge loop, and we will take an edge loop from here. Here it is, and then we need exactly an edge loop in the middle so that we get eight points here. So insert an edge loop. In single edge, uh, we don't need single edge, we need multiple edge. So just click it and click here, and we will get evenly a space for this edge. So we just need to delete this area to make a hole. I am just pressing Alt and clicking, so it will go another poly group. And I don't need this group, so I go to poly, press space, delete poly group. One. It will be deleted. So we need to make this round. So I'm going to use the mask for this. So I'm going to mask this area and this area. And inverse the area by control and clicking in the blank space. It will inverse the mask and then just move a little bit. It will take the shape. And we need a U cut from here. So I don't need this and this also. Then delete for the point, delete. And I need an U shape from here. So I am taking the move infinite brush, V, M, and N, move infinite brush. So we can um, do the uh, do both. So we can uh, move these two parts from one side. And we need to see the other portion of uh, inside of the shirt. So I'm Oh, just enabling the double to see the inside view then I'm making this view shape and here it is I just got a shape of a shirt and now I just need to make this point a little bit down so it can be a rounded shape and then just Move it a little bit inside so it will look more rounded. And we can uh, make a tapered loop from here. So, in that case, we just need to scale it a little bit inside, or you can scale this part so we get a tapered shape. And this part still look, look so boxy, so I just need to make this some curve here. So for that, I'm gonna need um, our move brush. So taking a move brush and enabling the z-axis symmetry will help me to move this side and this side also back, back side. So I'm just selecting this part and making it a little bit curvy. I don't need this part, so I'm pressing Alt by going in poly group. This is <coughs> now a different poly group, and I don't need this part, so uh, by going this poly option, I'm pressing space, delete, poly group all, so it will be deleted. Uh, you can make this line even straight, so just mask it and inverse it by clicking Ctrl, click in backspace, just get the gizmo and 
the scale it a little bit more side. So this is I get the initial shape of the shirt. So I am gonna need the hand of hands part of the shirt. So I just need to extrude the edges. So I'm clicking the extrude option by going to edge space bar extrude and edge look. Okay, and I'm not gonna need the Z symmetry, so I'm turning off it. So extrude edge look. Here we can do one thing that uh, we can extrude this part a little bit and we can extrude this part a little bit and after that we need to merge these points together or stitch these points so i'm going to points stitch and click this point and this point it is stitched and this point and this point it is stitched so we got a look after that we just select mask and just so here we are facing a problem that we need to straight this line so to do that we just need to click here but this edge is uh, misplaced so we need to enable the local symmetry and turn off the dynamics so that we can easily scale this part after that i just move it a little bit here it is. I just get in hand and we need to make this part a little bit low. So it is. And so initially our shirt is ready, but we need some uh, details and we need some topological uh, thing to make this shirt look good. So for that, we just moving some parts. And if you are doing this, and uh, you see any edges up, down, and not matching from front and back, we can do geometry, modified topology, mirror and weld, and X with Z, so that we can make things similar on both sides. And after mirror and welding, this is uh, creating issue. So I just need to delete this poly and. Stitch and here I just take stitch the midpoint so it will stitch to the midpoint of these points. One, two, okay, done. And we are going to need an edge loop from here and an edge loop from here. So we just brought it. And for the front and back side, we need some ups and downs in front and back. So I need to be some area up in back side like this. And I need to just load this call up later. And we can make this part poly group same by Alt and Control Shift click, Control W for make this group. Same. So by taking the Z initial, we got our shirt ready. But we need to join these parts. This stitched. So just stitch these parts. Now, if I just slice the curves here, here, and make this part same on both sides, and just need make the Groups, it will do an epic job. So I just got a shirt from here, and I just need to use it for my asset. So you can just take it like this. And I need this part. 
start a little bit. So this one, I just need to slide this part. Here it's creating an edge. So I'm just deleting this part, these edges. And after that, just need to hit the command by at the same time. So it will make an edge loop in the middle. So here it is. Here is the before that, you can just uh, extrude the whole area of this edge. This edge will end. So, it is now joint, and I just need an edge up here. here. Now making thick and lastly from here. You can scale it. This is how we make it sharp. You can obviously sculpt this edges. I'm gonna delete this edge, make this a little bit good, and mask this total edge loop and inversing it. Oh, there is problem here. So, this two edges has joined, so I don't need this part. So, I'm just deleting single polys and making extrude on the edges. Extrude edges. Select the edge, it will automatically snap this part. Now I need to move this part a little bit. This. Just moving the point. And we need to just bridge this edge. Yes. So now it is ready. It's a little bit uneven. Now we can shape, give some shape. Or we can just make these things a little bit sharp or straight. So, or you can just Mask this full border by going poly mask poly. Just click. <coughs> mask unmask it by or inverse it. Just select like this. And we just got a shirt. And if you need to add details in here, of course you don't need some divisions. So to do that, control D. I just did it for two times and we just flatten these parts making some scalp on these parts maybe here maybe here maybe some scalp on underarms We need to see some or observe some shirts to know how plots are folded. So we will get some idea to make this cut more realistic. Okay. 
You can uh, always come here. So, this is the shirt we are looking for. Now, maybe this part is a little bit too high. I'm just going to make this part low. And make this edge sharp so that the shirt looks. Like this. Okay, so try now turn the division back to highest, then continue with this. So, hope you guys like this video and learn from this and see how we could make a t shirt easily in ZBrush by using ZModeler. Till then, goodbye, I will see you in the next video.